This video is sponsored by PlayStation and Genshin Impact. So I only recently got into Genshin Impact. I actually started it on PC because of the brand new computer that I just got and made a whole video on. And I was blown away by the visuals of a free to play game. Then I stopped playing and just closed the game. The next day I was blown away again when I started the game up in the backseat of an Uber on my phone. And the game started up exactly where my character left off. I didn't need to save or anything. My person's feet were right in the ground where I last left them. Whoa. And now, of course, you can carry the experience over to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. If you've never played Genshin Impact before because maybe you think it's too similar to other games you might have played in the past, if you're watching this channel, you probably know what I'm talking about, you should probably give it a shot because I promise you it's way different than you probably realize. incredible. <laughs> Genshin Impact is an open world action RPG. First of all, the game runs at a full 4K 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5. It's gorgeous. And the app runs really well at those specs. Part of what has kept me from wanting to play this game is that it's a free to play game. And there's no way that a free to play game can meet the quality of the plethora of AAA games that I have in my backlog, right? Well, it turns out, I can be wrong sometimes. That's what my therapist tells me. We're trying to work through it. From the smoothness in combat, to the rendering in the environment, to the voice acting, and the UI, and just overall how the game runs, I was really impressed with what I was seeing. And it was all reaffirmed when I just picked the game up from where I left off on my phone. Now I can take my addiction to collecting anime characters anywhere. The combat is pretty familiar action RPG combat, but in Genshin Impact's case, there's a heavy focus on elemental damage, and there are seven types of elemental powers. Different characters can dish out different elemental powers, and you can swap between characters on the fly mid-combat. So you can chain together elemental powers for devastating attacks. One of my least favorite things about RPGs is all of the reading. I can barely read my own scripts. Most of this stuff is just done in editing. But Genshin Impact is fully voice acted. Almost every single line of dialogue has voice acting, and the voice acting is really good. Hi, darling. Are you going to be Lisa's little helper? Yes, yes I am, yes, yes. If you reach adventure rank level 16, which only takes about four real world hours, you unlock co-op mode, where you can team up with up to three other players anywhere in the world across any platform Genshin Impact is currently on. If you're worried about the game getting stale, well, throughout the game you earn and upgrade all sorts of different weapons that you can give to whichever character you want. And you can also collect characters. There are currently 48, including Alloy from the Horizon series. Some characters are only available for a limited time though. They're bringing back, hold on a second, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get this right. Zhongli and Ganyu from January 26th to February 14th. Zhongli is a Geo character, which is like a rock or earth type elemental. And Ganyu is a Cryo character, which is like an ice type, but she has a bow, which is good because you'll always need a ranged attacker in your group. You can use her to freeze opponents from afar and then quickly switch to a different character like Zhongli to inflict shattered, literally breaking up your opponent. And some characters offer different outfits. Right now they're offering new outfits for, give me a second, Ningguang and Keking. Yeah, he nailed it. No, he didn't. It's Kua Ching. On PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, of course, you get the full game. So if you've played this game before, everything that you've played already will still be there. But right now, there's a new area. Give me a second. Enkanomia. Enkanomia. It's like their keyboard ran out of vowels or something. What? No, you don't pay me enough to laugh. You'll also find special events like the Flame Plume Star Flower. You get yourself a launch tube and set off fireworks in the game. And Wondrous Shadows, a puzzle mini game. The Great Gathering, a seafaring adventure. All these get you in-game rewards and loot. 
but by completing the quests for prosperous partnerships, you get to pick any of these four star characters for the biggest reward of all. I was legitimately impressed by how much I enjoyed playing this game. It costs you absolutely nothing to try it out other than like 30 gigabytes of disk space. At the very least, I promise you at least a few hours of good fun. And at the very most, I promise you a new addiction that's gonna be really hard to shake. I'm very sorry. You can check it out at the link in the description below. And thank you, Genshin Impact and PlayStation for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to try this game out that I might not have otherwise tried. Also, which one of you out here plays this game? I'm very new to this game and I need some help. Let me know in the comments below. I just started playing this over on Twitch and the chat helped me out a lot. They kind of like sherpaed me through it. Oh, give me, come here. Please don't cut his friggin' tail off, but come here. Oh. I suspect I'm gonna be playing this game a lot. So come on over to Twitch and you can help backseat game me. Just try not to be too annoying. Be nice to me, I'm new here. Anyway, thank you for making it this far in the video. Make sure you click the like button if you like me just talking about games. I don't have to talk about hardware all the time. Have yourself a very good week. How do I get out of here?